guy. Now it's just not that law. So don't think it's a personal attack. We're gonna, and, that, and, I'm, and all praises that you do know, but the proof is gonna be in the pudding. Yeah. When you go home and you start buying them dresses and them skirts and making sure your younger sister or your cousin or your, whoever she's your relation, making sure that she dresses like a, a girl or a woman. She actually does. My thing is we go jogging. Okay, so sister. this is okay. appearance but of guess jogging. What? You can dive in women's golf. It can be done. dresses, you see Absolutely, you can. Mm -hmm. Our sisters play baseball, softball, they cook our, and cook our feast and high holy days, and every one of them, they look like, how they doing that? I never seen that before. Well, you will see it if you come and join us and come learn the truth for Israel United in Christ. That's right. Can I ask you another question? Because I do a Absolutely. You know what? I'm sorry. You no, know, you know what? I want to show you that because all of our lives now is dedicated to teaching you. And I'm going to show you, right? that we're supposed to study the answer. So any question you have, we will answer. They'll say of the Lord God. So I want you to, I want you to meditate on this real quick. Read that. First Peter chapter three, verse 15. Now Peter was an apostle, right? He walked with Christ. He understood the teachings of Christ, right? Peter was a holy man, read. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer. What did the Bible say? And be ready always to give an answer. We always got to be ready to answer you. You are our people. Why would, must we always be ready to answer you? Read. To every man that asks if you a reason. See, you're asking us, why? Why this, why that? Any reason you have, we study to answer your question. So what's your question? I wanted to know, is it true that it's like two Bibles, I'm sorry, two books missing from the Bible? Is that true? Two or three or something okay, like that? Okay, now, you're going to answer that question. And the They're actually, may I answer? Yes, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to be patient. What's missing out of the Holy Bible, which is not found commonly in the King James Version, is a book called the Apocrypha. The Apocrypha is the history of the Israelites that spans between the book of Malachi, the last book of the Old Testament, and the book of what? The book of Matthew, which is the first book of the so-called New Testament. The Apocrypha was taken out approximately in the 1700s by Christian Protestants who, if you know anything about history, they protested against the Catholic Church and they eventually came over to, starting in New England, all right? They went away and they started to push their doctrine. But many books are, not, are missing out of the Bible. As a matter of fact, if you look at the Apocrypha, just to answer your question, 14 books were missing. So now, so here's the thing, sister. And, and, and thank you for bringing that up. Because the brother brings up an excellent point. Why is it missing today? But what a lot of people don't realize is the Apocrypha is included in many Bibles. But guess what they do? They price gouge it. Because they know that we are, we're waking up. Yeah. And they don't want us to have it in one book. Yeah. But guess what? This brother was blessed and he was able to afford that Bible. You understand? So the answer to your question, yes, 14 books were taken out of the mainstream Bible. Yeah. Now, can I ask you a question? Do you eat pork in your household? Well, I started eating pork for like two years, and I do started you eat, all over again. Do you eat shrimp? No, I don't know. Lobster? No. You don't, okay, it's all crazy. Why are we saying that? It's not just how you dress, it's also what you eat, right? Yeah. So now you gotta learn. It's time to learn about your heritage. What is your heritage? Give me Deuteronomy 33. What is your heritage? This Bible is your actual, this is your actual culture. Hip hop, hip hop ain't our culture. The Bible is our culture. The Bible is your heritage. It's your inheritance.